interesting because I set up Canvas based on a regular semester and your summer is shorter. So it might seem a little confusing, so I want to clarify. Okay. Tomorrow we are doing Lab 11, serial dilution, but not bacterial titer. Metric conversions we'll talk about today. And you can practice it. All right, let's go back. Metric conversions. And then this lab 11 spread plates and pour plates. So you need metric conversions. In fact, let me move that down to there. Okay, so this lab 11, let me unpublish that. Okay, make it easier for you. Okay, so. You'll see spread plates and pour plates. We're gonna make spread plates and pour plates to calculate a viral or a phage titer. Virus would implicate human cells. Virus is what we're gonna call a virus that infects human cells. A virus that infects bacterial cells, we're gonna call a phage or a bacterial phage. It's the only difference. If you wanted to do a viral titer, on a human virus, I would need some of your cells to grow the virus in. You probably don't want to give me any of your live cells because your body's still using them. So instead, <laughs> we grow bacterial phages because they'll grow in bacterial cells. So you're actually going to grow bacteria, but the phages are going to infect the bacteria. <coughs> we'll look at how many bacteria get killed and that's how we know how many phages we have. So you're gonna, we're gonna do it two ways, with spread plates and pour plates, so you need to read both of those under lab 11, and lab 12, serial dilution and calculation of a phage titer. Here's your metric conversion we're gonna talk about now. The protocol, go ahead and print that out and bring it with you, because it's hairy. And then here's the lecture. You need to read those PowerPoints. So lab 11 and 12 is what you're gonna see. And print out the serial dilution and phage titer protocol. Show you what it looks like real quick. It's a little bit hairy. Uh, what I did was I took the protocol and I went home and I drew it out on a big piece of paper. I can see it visually better. I don't know how to show you what's in my phone unless I plug it in and go through a whole hassle, but uh, what I did was I drew little micro cuvettes and I drew test tubes and kind of mapped it out in a drawing, which I'll put on the board for you tomorrow, but this is a good way to understand what you're looking at, if I can find it now. Can't get 